Hello there, it's me, Beau Chevesu, and this is a brief little sampling of mime, or rather the art of pantomime. Now, first of all, you may be wondering, wow, you're a really bad mime because you're talking. Well, the costume is not complete. Yes, there is mime etiquette, and if my gloves are off, so to speak, then I am allowed to talk. But during the actual performing, I do not talk. I stay in character. So let's just do a few things. First of all, the most common request is the glass box. It's just a classic. And so here we go. So let's say there's a glass wall in front of me and I can interact with the glass wall going around like so. And maybe there's a corner right here. Oh, I'm caught. What am I gonna do? I know it's so cheesy, but absolutely wonderful. Here we go. And then back there, back there, back there. Like so. Now, if we push this aside like so, we can also do something simple, like a cup, for example. So let's say we walk up to, uh, so I'm right here and I see a counter. Ah, that's quite refreshing. And then off we go like so. The rope! So we push all that aside, so here we go. This is exhausting, by the way. Thank you! Hey, oh, let's go this direction, shall we? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. oh it just cracked my back right there. So now I can talk about mime for a long time because I do actually teach mime workshops <coughs> for colleges, schools, you name it. And in case you're wondering if you want to be a mime yourself, you simply have to follow three different steps to formulate what we call illusions. So a glass box, that would be an illusion or the illusion of the rope that I showed you earlier, or the cup, or the illusion of walking a dog. So for example, if we are walking a dog, uh, you would use wind up, snap, release. Now bear with me, this is very important information to know if you're gonna become a mime yourself. Not a clown, a mime. Clowns are terrifying. Mimes are lovable creatures. So wind up, snap, release. Uh, let's say the glass wall or the glass box. Observe, wind up, snap, okay? and then release. So all together it's wind up, snap, wind up, snap, and then release, release. And you can get your whole body into the wind up, snap, and release. So let's say for example, we are pulling a rope, wind up, snap, wind up, snap, and then you pull and then you do whatever you like with it, and then the exaggerated release to establish that there was actually something there. I absolutely love miming because um, you get to interact with people. Uh, they trust you, they play with you. So if you're walking your little mime dog around, you can throw a squeaky ball and they'll throw it with you. People love to interact with mimes. There's just something magical about them. Uh, I like to say that a mime will take the invisible and make it visible, if that makes sense. A magician, on the other hand, they take the visible and they make it invisible. They make it disappear. Like, oh, isn't that impressive? But to actually make something visible for someone to see, like the glass box, or a cup, or a dog, or a ladder. Oh, the ladder illusion is kind of cool. Uh, so, there, there, there. I, would, I actually do uh, quite a bit of charity work around the world. And uh, we, we, we were flying a drone. Uh, doing film for a charity uh, recently in Cambodia. We crashed the drone, don't worry, no one got hurt. Um, but I, we had to retrieve it, and I had to communicate that we needed a ladder. So I actually got to apply my mime techniques. I had no idea how to speak Khmer, the actual local language in Cambodia. Uh, but I was like, we need this. <laughs> and they all started laughing. So we got the ladder, we got the drone back, and everything was fine. But uh, it crosses cultural barriers, uh, age barriers. It's a wonderful uh, form of art, mime. So that's it. My name is Beau Chevesu. I hope that you've enjoyed this small little demonstration. If you'd like to reach out to me, simply email reachout at knok.org. Or if you're getting this in the email, as you probably are right now, <laughs> then give me a call at the uh, phone number at the bottom of this email. Good goodbye. Yes.